Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to our channel and this is the seventh video of our exciting series Builder on Virtual Assistant and in this video we're going to show you how to integrate GPT-4 in your virtual assistant for free allowing your AI assistant to have a wide variety of knowledge. Before getting started, let's introduce our guest, the Benz here. Hi everyone, I'm here to show you how to integrate GPT-4 in your virtual assistant to make it even more powerful and amazing. GPT-4 is a large language model that can generate text, translate languages, write different kind of creative content and answer your question in an informative way. By integrating GPT-4 into your virtual assistant, you can give it ability to do all these things and more. Let's get started. So now I'm in my working directory. Let's create a file over here called gpt4.py. So we will use a package created by some good people. G4F. You can check their GitHub. We put the link in description. So you have to install it first. The codes are below. To install that, just go and open the terminal and write pip install G4F, and then it's going to install it in your system. Okay. We have installed G4F package. Now let's import it. After importing the package, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function with the name GPT and which is going to take an argument called message. You can write whatever you want. And inside this, we're going to set up try and accept block. So let us set up try and accept block. And now let's for now uh let's write pass here and let's just started with try statement so let's create a variable name response here and try statement in the response we're going to call g4f package and there's a function called set completion and we're going to write create in here we will use curly bracket and inside this we're going to set up the things for our gpt model oh uh, it's small bracket and then inside the try box we're going to initialize our model like what type of model we're going to use and what will be the provider like that so the model we are using is gpt4 middle dash 32k middle dash 0613 and after that we'll give a comma and set up the provider and we're going to use g4f dot provider we're going to use GP talk provider, uh, GP talk provider to power up our assistant. And then there are many providers you can test by, uh, by your own. And we are using GP talk in this video. Okay. Now we set up messages. So we'll pass the list. So we have wrote down all the parameters except of one. Let's write that. It, it's not compulsory to write this basically if you want a smooth animation while writing or generating the response then you need to add this stream called stream line otherwise if you add it or uh, if you don't add it then it will just print out the text okay so it is synced with async you and it works simultaneously we have to create a variable name anything we want and it will be an empty string. After that, we use a for loop to collect all the response text and uh, merge it to MS. Then we have to return it. So let's wait. Let's also print the response from GPT in a smooth animation. Let me do this and is equals to empty string and flash equals to true. What it will do, it will make smooth animation. So so after that, run it. I will explain you what it, it's actually doing. Don't worry about it. So now I think everything is great here. So now uh, the last thing is accept block. Let's print here some error occur. So now we have to return the MS and now let's use the function. Okay, so we have we are calling function with the param how hi gpt how are you let's run it 
let's see what it's going to do as you can see here uh, it uh, write these things in smooth animation and now we got the result like if we remove this and do it by default false or maybe just completely remove it now if we run this it will occur in a single second but it wouldn't be get faster it just print it in single time like you can see here so it's depend upon you to add it or not okay so that much for this today's video i hope you like the video and in the next video we're going to implement with our virtual assistant so our virtual assistant will be more powerful and yeah, that's much for this today's video and i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye